Hello, my name is Bob Thompson, and I work for Charter Media as a commercial editor. And this is my tutorial called Endless Summer. And what I'm doing with this tutorial is I want to show you a quick and down and dirty animation technique. I work at a high volume production company, and we're constantly against deadlines. So every minute you can save here is another minute you can spend working on something else, a little more complex. So with this tutorial, I'm going to show you by using just a null object. 3D space, a camera, and duplicating some layers, you're going to be a pretty complex looking animation, and all of this can be animated just using one layer. And with that in mind, I want to talk about summer. Yeah, I know summer. Hot beaches, cool breezes, nice rolling ocean. Well, the problem is I live in Wisconsin, and right now it's December and it's freezing. Now, I don't know about you, I don't get made that much money, and the cost of a plane ticket. If you factor in the cost of a hotel room, food, throw all that in, you're looking at maybe 12000 for a weekend visit anywhere near the coast. So what I want to do with a little creative animation is to create summer right here on your computer. So let's get to it. Now first off, I'm going to start with a composition, 720-486. Drop that down. Now I've already got an image of a wave. It's a piece of clip art I brought into Photoshop. And what I've done is I made it twice as long as this composition. The reason I did that is when I start rotating these layers, I don't want the edges to show on the composition, and that's going to ruin the effect we're looking for. So I've already done that. I'm going to bring this layer down to the timeline. I'm going to title this Wave 1. Okay, now we're going to turn the 3D icon on, and then we're going to duplicate this wave six times. You can do more, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use six, so you kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Okay, now you've got the six layers now, and I've created these layers just the right size. And what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is the center, horizontal, and vertical are right in the center. And now, if you brought in another piece of clip art, and maybe it was a little off center or a little bigger, and you're going to want to make sure the anchor point is directly in the center. And how you do that is you click Y, or you go the Pan Behind tool, and that's just right up here. What you do is you click on right where the anchor point is, and you'll drag it right into the center. And that's important, because when we start rotating this, we want it to pull right from the center of the actual graphic. Okay, now you got that, I'm going to drop in a camera. So in order to do that, you go up to Layer, New, Camera. I go ahead and just click the preset. It doesn't really matter right now. Now I'm also going to add a null object. Same thing, you go up to Layer, New, and Null Object. Now make sure you click on the 3D for this as well. This is all the waves and the null are going to be in the 3D layer. And since we've got it up here, why don't we just go ahead and drag the center of this null right into the center of the frame. And the rotation and anchor point on this null object is right in the corner, but we're going to drag that right into the center of it. And you do that by again by hitting Y or the Pan Behind tool and grab that anchor point right into the center. Okay, there we go. Now what we've got now is the six layers of waves, the null object, and the camera. And right now we're looking at the camera view or the active camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the view to use left. It's basically turning the whole project to the right, and we're looking at all the layers from the left. So here we pull out a little bit. Here's the camera click on here's the null and these are your wave layers. The six are all on top of each other. You don't see that right now. So what we're going to do with the selection tool, V, we're going to click on a layer and it doesn't really matter but we're going to try to separate these out so they form sort of a circle and we've got six layers to do that. Again you could have made more but for this tutorial we're just going to use six. So we'll drag one to the right, uh, one to the left, one up here, one there, one there, in there. So basically we got a circle here and all as you see right here you see they've all outlined a circle and we all want the center right around the anchor points right around the outside of the circle. Now if you're really doing this you're not actually going to see this circle. This is what we like to call in the business production value. Oh yeah, only the best, all right? So this circle is imaginary but you get the idea. All right. Now we've got the null right here. We're going to drag that right into the center of the circle. All right, and that's it. Now we're going to click back to camera view, and now we're going to highlight all the wave layers. And using this little icon, it's the pick whip, we're going to drag this, we'll click down and drag it all the way to the null layer, and let go. And then we're going to rename this null to animate. And the reason I do that is this is the one layer that's going to animate everything. All right, now if you click down here, you can see by adjusting just the X rotation, 
we're almost there. When we start to rotate, we're starting to see the edges of the wave. And this is what we want to avoid. It ruins the whole look. But there's a simple trick, and I use this all the time on different animations. It's a great little trick. What we're going to do is highlight all the layers, the wave layers, right click, transform, auto orient, and orient toward camera. This is great. Now, everywhere the camera is looking, the layers are going to face that camera. And that's great. So you can create some really cool little animations by making that layer face the camera at all times. So now if we go back to the layer and we adjust the X rotation, you can see it's always facing the camera and we're getting that animated look now. You can see how the waves are rolling now. And it's not just the X rotation. You can also play with the Z or the Y rotation and you still get some pretty cool looking effects. Now it's not only animating on this layer, you can also use that in conjunction with animating each wave layer as well. If we go on X rotation and you've got it going uh, towards you, you can also animate uh, in conjunction with the X rotation. So on wave one, you could animate, uh, move this position to the left, go down a few seconds and move it to the right. And then in the next frame, uh, the next wave above that, do the opposite. Start on the right, move down a few frames and move it to the left. Now that's in conjunction with the X rotation, so it, do, it doesn't look like each wave is just a, a copy of itself. You've got a lot of motion here. And that's it. Now we're going to add the sand. Click down here. The background, which is an easy background. I just use ramp. It's just a, a solid layer using ramp and I change the color to blue. And I got a clip art of a boat and a cow since it is creative cow. And a quick render. And there you go. Oh yeah. Floating cow on the boat in the ocean scene. Very famous. There we go. Alright, a couple of quick final notes. is um, I just want to say, it doesn't have to be an ocean. You can use a landscape or a field. And I've only rotated the X rotation and I kept the camera static. You can rotate the camera, move the camera around toward it. and Also use a displacement map if you want to use some depth of field, a, displace, a displacement layer and create a blur in the background. Or if you want to highlight all the layers and make them 3D, you could drop down a few lights and show some shadows. This is basically a starting point. It's a quick, down and dirty way to animate. Uh, it's a great way, and it's going to save you time. And it looks pretty effective for you know just a few minutes of work. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little. This again, this is just a quick way to make a pretty good-looking animation and not take that much time. All right, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.